a true David and Goliath matchup in the fourth round of the U.S. Open Cup. We'll go through the full slate along with some designated player talk next on The Daily. Welcome to The Daily for Tuesday, June 5th with Simon Borg. I'm Jason Seguini. The 99th edition of the U.S. Open Cup enters round four tonight. There are eight matches in total, including a true David and Goliath matchup. The three-time defending champion Seattle Sounders taking on Cal FC, the little guys that could. Eric Winalda's team knocked off Portland Timbers last week, and now they head back up to Cascadia region for another big matchup at Starfire. Here's how great a fairy tale story this is, that Fox Soccer is going to air this fourth round matchup. When have we seen a fourth round matchup <laughs> on national TV? That's at 10.30 Eastern, and it's a great story that Cal FC, a team that's only been formed four months ago, Eric Winalda heads it up. He plays a certain way. It seems like tactics go out the window. He lets players figure it out. Their formations change during a game. Look, no doubt about it. Seattle is going to be uh, pressuring this Cal FC team. But the way they showed last week against Portland, where they withstood all the pressure, they turned out winners. Uh, Winalda says they actually match up better against Seattle than they did against Portland, so we'll see. Yeah, we had Eric Winalda on Extra Time Radio last week. We had Ziggy Schmidt on yesterday. Ziggy Schmidt talking about this matchup against Cal FC. Simon, what did he say? Stood out to me that Schmidt said they're preparing for this team, Cal FC, just like they would prepare for any other MLS team. Uh, and he did say a lot of these players are actually on the cusp of becoming pros. So although they're an amateur side, technically they're the last amateur team in the tournament, these players are, are on the cusp. They're right there. Uh, and when all decided himself, seven of these guys have professional offers waiting for them when this run ends. Uh, one player to look out for, if you're looking at Cal FC, Danny Barrera, a player that uh, Eric Winald is very high on, uh, was a star at UC Santa Barbara, also played in Europe for a bit, so he's the one of the seven you'd anticipate to get a pro contract. All right, and if you want to hear that interview with Ziggy Schmidt, get Extra Time Radio, you can find that on Buzzsprout or iTunes. Plenty of other U.S. Open Cup action tonight. Remember, it starts at 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight, so you can log on to MLSsoccer.com for all the links to these games. Two games that we're taking a look at, in particular, Simon, MLS versus MLS teams. D.C. United taking on the Philadelphia Union, Sporting Kansas City hosting the Colorado Rapids. Because, Jason, these two teams don't have matches this weekend because of the FIFA international break, uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether the coaches put out their first 11s. There's no reason not to. Now, keep in mind, there's some internationals that are gone uh, with their national teams, but there's no reason that these two games are not just all-out uh, competitive MLS matchups, even though it's the U.S. Open Cup. Yeah, and there's also the games, of course, MLS teams versus the lower division teams. You like to keep a close eye on those. Upsets, obviously, were the story of last round. We'll see what happens this round. Which game are you looking at the closest? I'm looking at San Jose, Minnesota. Minnesota, they're the champs of the NASL. They went into Salt Lake last week. They're the league leaders and knocked them off 3-1. to one. No reason to believe they couldn't go into San Jose and do the same, especially with the earthquakes missing. Chris Wondolowski and Victor Bernardes, two influential players due to national team duty. Yeah. Yeah, there's more upset watches out there. If you look at Chivas USA traveling across country to take on the Carolina Railhawks, who knocked off the LA Galaxy last week, you kind of have to think the Railhawks are favorites here. And Carolina managed by XMLS coach Colin Clark, who knocked off the Galaxy last week. This is a very capable team, especially at home. They have a lot of buzz around them. And then the other matchup, uh, interesting to look at, Harrisburg hosting the New York Red Bulls. New York taking care of business last week very handily uh, in Charleston. But Harrisburg is a team that knocked knocked the Red Bulls off in 2010, and that team was coached by Hans Bakke. Hans Bakke saying he only has 13 outfield players to work with for this game. We'll see if Terry Henry uh, is among them. All right, if you want to watch any of these matches, just log on to MLSsoccer.com. Later on tonight, again, the games start at 7 o'clock. We'll have all the links on the site. We're hearing some interesting news on the designated player front out of Montreal this morning. Goal.com reporting that not only has Montreal been in negotiations with Michael Ballack, which I think maybe we all knew or assumed, but now Clarence Sadorf's name has been thrown into the mix, Simon. And a very different player here from Michael Ballack. Nick DeSantis confirming that Sadorf is a player they are interested in. But again, very two different players. To me, Sadorf much more mobile. He's able to get by players, uh, good on the dribble 
has great vision. Balak, very different, more maybe defensive, although they say he's an attacking midfielder, at least his representative do. Right. do. Uh, the fact is, is that if both these players are presented to Montreal, there's a decision to make. DeSantis said they can't get both, but they're clearly not done after signing Marco Di Vallo. Another DP is coming. All right, well, staying in Canada, we had Jason DeVos from TSN on Extra Time Radio yesterday to help break down the U.S.-Canada game. Again, you can get that on iTunes or Buzzsprout, or you can go to MLSsoccer.com slash Extra Time to listen to that episode. That's all we have for The Daily today. We'll be back with plenty more tomorrow. <laughs>